Welcome back to our Ticket Brokers program. In the last video we explained a little bit about the Ticket class, which is going to be an abstract class, and uh, our advanced and walk-up tickets, which are going to inherit attributes from our abstract Ticket class. Now an abstract class is not, is not instantiated, we don't create instances of it, but our advanced class and our walk-up class we will instantiate instances of those. So let's get started writing our ticket class. So when we write an abstract class, we have to declare that it's abstract. So we say public abstract class ticket. And we'll still have the open and close curly braces. And we'll still have places for our fields, our construct, um, our constructor and our methods. All right, so all right, as we said before in our last video, our ticket number, our ticket's going to have serial numbers and prices. These are the things that are common to all tickets. So we'll say private int serial number. And then when we create an abstract ticket, we are going to um, set the serial number. So we'll say serial number is equal to get next serial number. And this way, no one will be able to create an advanced ticket or a walk-up ticket without getting um, an, the next serial number which is kept track of by our ticket. If we tried to keep track of a serial number in advanced ticket and walk-up ticket, our, we would have different serial numbers running. And that's why we want to do this in ticket. And uh, now we'll have, we need to write a method to get the price and so we will say public abstract double get price and that will allow us to get the price of a particular ticket and then we'll be overriding that method uh, right now we're just declaring the method in ticket which means that every ticket that we create from in the, in the case of app, uh, advanced ticket or walk-up ticket, every ticket must ha use this method, get price. And then we're going to have a two-string method. So we're going to have public string, two-string. And in this method, we'll, we're going to return the number which is our ticket number, and then we'll add the serial number, and then we'll go ahead and use a line, carriage return for the next line, and we'll get the price of that ticket. So we'll use the getter get price. And the reason we have to use the getter is because when we overwrite the price formula in each ticket, um, we want to be able to make sure we get the right price for the right ticket. Now we're going to need one more method, and that is the, the one that's going to generate our serial number. So we'll go ahead and put that up here, which is private. And the reason we want it to be private is because we only want this class to be able to access it and create the next ticket number. It's going to be static because our other methods, our other classes in this group, um, will need to access it, and also, I'm s and we want it to. I'm sorry, the static means that it's going to access this um, variable serial number. So each instance of ticket will go back and ac access that serial number. Private means that we only want this class of ticket to be able to. Um, access this method. So we'll say, and then our serial number will be some integer. 
starting at zero and we'll say get next serial number and this method is going to return the last number that we had so you can see that um, so we'll need to go up here and instantiate last number so private static int last num is equal to zero so I'm going to go ahead and compile make sure I don't have any mistakes I'll need to create go ahead and create a folder I'm to store this project in And it's probably giving me that method because I haven't written the get price method in the other one in the uh, in our other classes that we're going to instantiate. Let me just do a quick review here to see what errors it's looking for. Ah, I'm missing a curly brace here. That's one of my problems. Ah, there we go. So that because I didn't close my constructor I had all those errors all right so that's the end of our abstract ticket class um, please remember that abstract classes are we do not instantiate but we use um, the methods in them to create other classes and um, children of uh, this class will inherit methods from this class see you next time